Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah. And if you watched our Christmas video, you know that I got yarn. I got Chunky Chanel yarn. It's Walmart's Mainstays Chunky Chanel yarn. This is in light pink. And this is, give me a second. It is, I don't know, Conair? Corsair. No. I don't know. Let me see. Anyways, it's a blue, which I absolutely love. And it's so soft. And typically, chunky Chanel yarn is used for hand knitting and not using any tools of any kind. And you make stuff like this blanket. And actually, this blanket is made of the same yarn, just obviously different colors. So, since I got it for Christmas, I wanted to see if I could use it on the loom. I don't know that it'll work, but... We'll see. Cross your fingers. So I'm going to do something super simple. I am going to make a head warmer, head warmer, ear warmer, headband, ear warmer, whatever, however you want to call it. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Oh, and whoever comments first, if it is successful, give me your Instagram information so that I can message you back and you'll get the, the ear warmer. I'm going to do it with the light pink first, but yeah, you'll get the ear warmer for commenting first. I'm excited. Now to figure out where the end is. Come on and where's the end? Oh, there we go. All right. And it has, of course, patterns if you want to uh, do some of the patterns on here. Okay, so I just looked to see where light pink was. And that's where Corsair, maybe? I don't know. C-O-R-S-A-I-R. -S Anyways, that's the color of this one. So, first, of course, you'll have to make a slip knot, which is super easy. You just, well, it depends on how you want to do it. You can just cross it over, then reach in and grab, and there you go. You've got your slip knot. I'm nervous. I don't know if this is going to work <laughs> at all, but we'll see. I mean, because look, it's on. I've got it on the anchor peg, and it's already like that fat. So, I think I'm going to do maybe six pegs, because obviously I'm not going to use this whole thing, because it, it would be too small for an adult, um, and I'm using my other one that I would have used, and yeah, I think I'll do six pegs, which isn't much, but I'll do six pegs and see where it takes me. Let me see if, can I do it where you can see it? I will probably bring you down so that you can see what I'm doing. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. We've got it on the anchor peg and I'm gonna just do simple. I have no idea if this is even gonna work. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and six. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so fat. And then, is that 
six or seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. There we go. And now we're going to just simply take it back because, like I said, I'm going to do a simple knit stitch. It's not going to be nothing fancy because I don't want it to get messed up. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. And if I can get it to work, then I will do a time lapse. Oh my goodness, I got it over. <laughs> I got it over. I did my first stitch. Oh, don't. There we go. There we go. There we go. That is so fascinating. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to speed this up for y'all. If I could get myself figured out. <laughs>
right, so I am pretty much done. I have measured out roughly 24 inches, give or take. And I don't know if you noticed, it went from me using one peg per uh, wrap, if you will, um, at the beginning. And then when I uh, changed days, you could see that I changed days because I'm wearing a different outfit, uh, that I ended up doing two pegs per loop, I should say, two pegs. Now, when I, when I first was doing this and I stopped filming, I actually accidentally snapped the yarn when I was doing the single peg. <laughs> and let me tell you, <laughs> uh, this is it. This is what was what snapped. The uh, yarn snapped somewhere over here, and this does not want to come undone. Now, if I really worked at it, I probably could get it to come undone, but it is so, this was, this was the beginning. And what you saw, I probably had completed more than this, and I accidentally took off two minutes, both part, um, loops and was not able to fix it. So I undid the whole thing and we had to restart. And when I, after I restarted, I snapped the yarn in the middle of doing it. So I try, I decided to, instead of doing a single loom or loom, a single peg, which that's, this represents a peg cause that's a hook or a hook. That's a loop right here. See, so that's a loop and that, represents a peg and oh look I can actually probably maybe I don't know anyways I'm not gonna try but then I decided to do two pegs per loom where is my brain words two pegs per loop <laughs> and that made it actually work and it is actually so thick and so cushy there isn't a whole lot of stretch and I will go ahead and do one more complete row which literally there's only because I'm using eight pegs but I'm only doing four loops per two pegs so I will do one more complete row and then we will finish it off uh, basically all you do I'm doing the U wrap which is similar to the E wrap, but it's not a full wrap around the pegs. And besides, I don't know that I would really be able to do that doing the two, but it's just pretty much that simple. You just wrap it loose. Well, I don't, not loosely, but you just wrap it to make it like a U and then you take the bottom loop and you bring it over the top. Now it is definitely difficult using this thick of yarn, but it's making a really crazy warm and cushy. I, it's, this does not do it justice. It is so thick. Oh my goodness, it is so thick. So uh, I'm almost done with this row. It worked up so fast. <laughs> Uh, the only reason why it took me more than one day is because when I started it kind of late, I don't remember, um, and then I didn't really finish it, or I stopped doing it after a bit, and because I would watch TV as I'm doing this, and I would pick it up, do a loop, and then I would watch whatever I was doing. So it took me longer than it really should have. I don't know how long it would have taken me to just do, but... Uh, like I'm guessing maybe an hour, maybe two. I, I don't know. Anyways, it took me a little bit only because I was watching TV or I was having a conversation and I wasn't consistently working on my loops. So this is it. I'm done. I'm not going to do any more. And the way I'm going to bring this together to make the ear warmer is by, I'm going to pull this through, 
And then I'm going to take the first loops, which is these four right here. There's one here, one here, one here, and one here. And I'm going to reattach them to the loom, and then I'm going to sew it together. I'm going to stitch it off. And then sew the end together. So let me, there we go. So I'm putting it together. And that guarantees that they're the same size, which is good for me because I have a tendency to uh, end up with my project one side being super loose and one side being super tight and therefore it's not even but I like doing this so I'm gonna probably do that from now on when I make something like this so then we're going to so we've got the two loops isn't that crazy looking they're so thick and so now <coughs> excuse me now I'm going to take the bottom loop and I'm going to uh, bring it over the top loop if it'll let me. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Oops. Nope, I don't want both. I just want one. Thank you. Using the um, the yarn is definitely harder because it's so thick, and this isn't used meant to be used on a loom. It's meant to be used to make um, hand crochet, hand knitting, whatever. It's it's supposed to be for the super chunky blankets or super chunky whatever it is that you're making, and uh, that's. But I just, I wanted to see if it would work. And clearly I made it work. It's just, it's a little harder to do, which, you know, it is what it is. But I, I'm doing it. Whoops. Come on. Come, there we go. Sometimes because it's so fluffy, it's hard to tell what I'm actually doing. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to do a simple bind off. So I need to um, take my working yarn and because I only did four, I probably don't need to wrap all the way around, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that at least once and then cut it. There, I'm gonna cut it. And it actually left me quite a bit. I don't know that I would be able to make another one, but I think I would be able to make a small one. I don't know. This is actually quite a bit. I don't know. We'll see. I did, as you can tell, I did roll it up and I'm going to tuck that in so now it's a ball <laughs> and I put it in a bowl so that it wouldn't go rolling all over the place but let's go ahead and sew in the end if you will and bind off like I had to think about what I was doing so normally you would thread this on a needle but obviously I can't I'm gonna do it with my fingers hopefully so let me bring you down a little bit and we'll see. Woo. We'll see if I can do this. Hopefully. Cross your fingers. Alrighty. So I am going to use my hook and bring the yarn up through as if I was doing 
a um, purl stitch. Let's see, is that going to work? That's going to work. That's going to work. Yeah, yeah. All right, there we go. And there's one. And let's do that for the next one. Oops, come on. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's so fluffy. And I can't, there we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. And I actually use my uh, hook all the time anyways because it's just easier. And then when I actually take it off then to um, sew in my, my ends, I'll use the thread or the needle. But to do the bind off, I just do this with the hook. Because that's what I'm already doing. So I might as well finish. All right. And let's see. Can you take it off? Did it work? Do we have a beanie, or not a beanie, a uh, ear warmer? Oh, come on. There we go. Come off. There we go. It's just being difficult. There we go. She is free. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. I love it. Now I just need to sew in my ends. And it'll be done. All right. So, obviously, I need to sew in my ends via my hands. Because I can't do it otherwise. Which is totally fine. And like I said, this thing is so cushy. Probably shouldn't have done 24 inches, though. I don't know. We'll see. I guess if you have thick hair or a thicker head, a bigger head, I don't know. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, man. This is so cool. I am so excited. And, like, you seriously cannot tell. And it doesn't want to go nowhere. I hope it's not too loose. Gosh. I'm still learning, guys. I'm still learning. So, but anyways, if you've made it this far, I, obviously, I said in the beginning, um, whoever leaves me a comment first will win this. But, let me bring you back up. I like talking to and seeing my face. <laughs> Alright, so I was saying that whoever leaves a comment first would win this. But I have since decided that I want more comments. You know, I'm going to be selfish. I want more comments. So I'm going to leave it open until Wednesday. So this today, as of my filming this, it is Saturday January 7th, 2023. Hopefully I will be posting this later on tonight. And if I don't, if I post it tomorrow, you'll be seeing this on Sunday, uh, June, June, January 8th, 2023. So I will give it until Wednesday, which will be the 11th. Yep. Yep. It's the Wednesday, the 11th. So I'm whoever leaves comments up until Wednesday, January 11th, I will do a random uh, selection and 
leave me a leave me a way to get in contact with you. I don't want your phone number. I don't want your address. At least not until I pick the winner. Um, I do want a way to contact you via social media. And um, if you want to message me, I do have my social medias on my um, description box below. So if you want to go to them, it doesn't matter which one, um, message me there um, that you commented and I can come back and I look and I can see that you commented. So give me, let's see, give me a like, subscribe and leave me a comment and maybe you'll win. Should I try it on? Obviously, you can wash this. My hair's washed. I just washed it. So, it's clean. Obviously, it won't have that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love it. It's so cushy. Look at that. It is. Oh, my goodness. It is so thick. It is the cushiest headband. There you go. There you go. Do you want to win this? I want you to win this. So comment, like, subscribe. Leave me a way to get in contact with you via uh, social media. And then I will get your information when I do the drawing. I'm going to uh, do by random selection. Yeah. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been fun. I actually really love this. These are going to be super warm. I might not do it quite as long as this one. I don't know. Um, my daughter-in-law, sorry, I didn't. don't mean to get so close. My daughter-in-law is going to get one in this. I'm going to do the blue for her. So, but anyways, I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this. And remember... Gravity works, guys.